You're already exhausted with just thinking about mow season being around the corner and it's got you shopping these AI robot mowers. Well, today we're going to take a sneak peek at the Orion X7 by Sunseek. Let's get the legality out of the way. This is a paid sponsored review by Sunseekers so I can show you the capabilities of the Orion X7. If this is a wire free AI robot mower where we have to establish boundaries in my lawn to get it to mow. Now the kit comes with the Orion X7, it comes with the antenna, and it comes with the base station to automatically charge after it mows. So it'll go out, it'll mow, it'll go back to the charger. Now let's talk about what they are promising us. This device has a dual cutting deck, which I'm a huge fan of which means that we are going to get 14 inches of cutting width. You'll notice it's got the two wheels that pull it in front and it's got the one wheel rotating in back. Now, if you don't feel like you are super techie, this device was very simple to install. It comes with a base station. You just have to click together a couple of parts on it and you have to connect the power cable and the antenna to the base station. Find a reasonable spot in your yard that has direct line of sight to the sky without any trees or bushes interfering above the antenna. Then we are going to place the Orion X7 on the base station and make sure it starts charging. We're gonna put in the default password and we're gonna download the app. Antenna's up, base station's in, it's time for the installation process. And I must admit, they made it a breeze. We've got a really nice program set up that walks you through everything. When you're mapping one of these robot mowers, you need to make sure that your yard is nice and cleaned up, that your lawn is mowed down to the height of cut that you want it to stay at. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the robotic mowing world, you are going to set visual boundaries, not with a wire, but it's going to be wireless through the software. It's going to show it where it wants to mow. Then after that, it's going to mow just like a traditional lawnmower would in a striping pattern, making sure that it doesn't miss anything. And that's realistically what makes it this machine so valuable is it's going to do precision cutting as you would with a regular lawnmower. So one of the nice things about this unit, number one, it's wire free, which makes it a cinch. And number two, you can create different zones and have a walking path to each zone. Now the benefit of this is the zones are separated. So let's say that you just wanted a nice fresh cut on the backyard, but not the front yard. You can do that by creating these different zones. So on this side, we haven't cut anything yet. And then you notice when we come over here, got these nice little stripey stripes, man. It's looking good. So I've been running the Orion X7 for about a week now. There's a bunch of convenience factors. One thing I noticed is the engineers are always thinking. It has a convenient handle here. But the one thing that I absolutely love is the 14 inch deck. 14 inches means it goes over less of the lawn with all the wheels. The other thing is they reverse engineered the design. So the two larger wheels, which are usually in the back, are now pulling the machine in the front. And then they have this one wheel in the back. Now the advantage of this is it does really, really tight turns. It's pretty awesome. But the cool thing is this wheel here, it's actually all wheel drive. So it does help pushing and pulling up steep slopes. This is rated at a 35 degree incline, which that is about this steepness. It's a lot steeper than you would anticipate. The wheels that we have have tons of traction. So far I've had zero rutting in the grass. It is not super heavy as one would expect. Now the other thing is, is they made it very simple for charging. These two prongs in the front, they butt up against the discs on the charger. Very, very simple. I've had zero problems with it lining up. Now Sunseekers is solving problems. One of the biggest complaints that I've seen in the market has been, I can't cut tall grass. So Sunseekers made the Orion X7 with a height of cut that ranges from 0.8 of an inch on up to four inches and so far, cut quality has been really, really good. As far as software goes, they're using the robotic mower app. Now I, I will tell you, I feel like this app has been more user-friendly 
than a lot of the app other apps that I've used in the past. They seem like they're consistently updating the firmware and the software, which I've been really happy to see. Navigating is very, very simple. You just hit the settings button and you've got everything at the palm of your hand uh, from cutting efficiency, cutting direction, cutting rotation, whether you want the speed low or high, uh, the height of cut in both centimeters and inches and then edge cutting frequency where you want it to go around the border. Uh, you can actually have it do it every time, every second time or every third time. When it comes to rain, you can actually set how many hours that you would like it to delay. So my region, where here in the springtime is still gonna be wet for three, four hours, I can say to delay for three, four hours, but in the summer, when it ends up getting really, really hot, I may only need 15 minutes. I can change that. Um, it's got optimization with maps. So if it learns that it's got a boundary issue, it will deal with it. Um, your schedule, super, super simple to add. Uh, matter of fact, you can choose each individual zone to schedule, or you can go with a global setting on every single zone. You can repeat the schedule very, very simply Monday through Sunday in a touch of a button. We're mowing, baby. Moment a lot of you guys have been waiting for is just a visual comparison between two models. Now, this is the uh, Navimo i series against the Sunseeker Orion X7. Now, this model actually does an eighth of an acre or a quarter of an acre, where this model is going to do uh, about two thirds of an acre. Now, one of the biggest visual differences is going to be in the camera optics. This is a binocular system, meaning it has one, two cameras. This has vision fence and it's got the one camera on it. Now, one of the biggest differences that you're gonna notice is this one has the seven inch deck and it's got the same style razor blade cut to it and it ends up having four wheels two on caster and just like the sun seeker orion these bigger wheels are driving and pulling where the sun seeker orion ends up having this massive dual seven inch deck which gives us about 14 inches which i'm a huge fan of the cutting width on this Sunseekers explains it like this the dual deck is equipped with what they would call floating cutting orion's x7 unique floating cutting blade disc engineered to gracefully float up and down offers unparalleled flexibility to adapt to dense grass and uneven terrain the dynamic floating mechanism dramatically enhances the mower's maneuverability allowing it to glide over challenging landscapes with ease with with two blade tilted design, it can achieve an actual effective cutting width exceeding 95% of it, which brings almost two times more efficiency compared to regular mower. And it's got all wheel drive with three wheels as opposed to the two wheel drive of the i-series. Now, as far as height of cut goes, this is the American version of the uh, i-series and you change everything on the top deck from two inches on up to three and a half. And on the Sun Seeker, you do everything through the software. It'll go from 0.8 of an inch on up to four inches of height. So the range is much broader on the Sun Seeker. Now, one of my all-time favorite games to play with these robot mowers is Avoid the Obstacle. Let's get to it. I've got a series of obstacles from a dog's tree tin to a wine glass, a head of cauliflower, and some bagels. First up is the doggy treat dish. And that was no challenge for the Orion X7. Next up is the wine glass. Let's see how it does. Oh, oh, we got close, but it knew it was there. Oh yeah. Next up is the broccoli test. Oh, oh we've detected broccoli. We've detected cauliflower, all right. Now, one of my favorite tests is the bagel test because this is kind of typically what you're going to find in the yard is about this size. It's about four inches by uh, four inches by four or four inches by three and a half tall. Let's go see how it does. Oh, it sees it <laughs> pretty quick too. The nice feature that they have is what's called a bump sensor on the front. I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to put uh, some of the broccoli in the way real quick so you can kind of see what happens if some, something or somebody bumps it.
And there you have it. Sunseeker, is, Sunseeker has been in the game for a while. Uh, they came out with a product called the L22, which is a wired system. And this is the Orion X7, which doesn't need a wire. Now the relevance to all this is they've been working on the technology, but they've also been perfecting their pattern performance for a very long time. Now, there's a few things I absolutely love about the Orion X7. It's turn radius because of the all wheel drive, three wheel rolling on the side. <laughs> it's very, very light on the grass. Over the last two weeks, I've been testing this machine and I don't have any rutting, not having any issues with it. And it cuts very close to the edges and the perimeter boundary that I've already preset. So if you guys are looking for a reputable company and a good lawn mower, this might just be your next buy. Now I'll be sure to post the link in the description of the video and the first comment of the video. But in the meantime, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know I'd love to help you guys out. Hit me up down in the comments down below. Until next time, guys, it's the Pest and Lawn Ginger. We're slaying lawns.